Hello and welcome back everyone into this ninth chapter of C++ Essential series. In this video, we're going to talk about something important that is strings. Strings are pretty essential because all the time you want to display something in text, you will need strings. That's what we're going to talk about. Okay. So let's start with the a little index. So we know what we're actually going to study. So strings data types, which data types are there strings example of string types so that we know how strings can be used. So let's understand string by definition. Okay, so strings are used for storing text. Now, if you remember, characters are used for storing a single character, whereas strings can be used for storing strings. I mean, you know, the entire string value. Now, now creating a variable named string is basically the way you declare it. Okay, so you write the keyword string and then you write the word of the name or, or, or the or, or the variable name that you want to keep and then you store a value. Now, it doesn't really matter if you don't store the value all the time, but it does really matter that you declare that it's going to be a string. That's how the so, so uh, that's how the C++ compiler knows that it's basically a string type. Okay, now let's see an example as well. Okay, so this is something which is going to be a little important. So I have a demo code over here and I'm also going to jump to my VS code where I'm going to see the same example. Now over here, what is happening is that we have the entire code uh, with the declaration of hello. Okay. Now, if you see over here, what happens is I have declared greetings as a string variable. Okay. Now, so I have declared that I'm going to write or uh, make a variable named greetings, which is going to be of type string. And even if you hover your mouse, you can see that it says, you know, it's a string type thing. And also you have hello. Okay. So hello is basically which, what is stored in greetings. So when the, and then we have C out, if you remember from the previous video, C out is for output. We are going to get the output of this string, which is going to be hello. Now let's start the program and let's see. Okay. Now you can clear the terminal with the help of command K in case you need, and you can just run the program. You get uh, the message hello. And if you remember, you can also add an end L in case you want to add a break and then you can have a um, world. Okay. And then you can save it and then you can run it again. Okay. Um, I think I'm, I'm doing it a little wrong. It, let's just do like this. Okay. Uh, let's just not play around with Intel because I have to configure it as well because what, what, what is happening over here is I don't really have a single line character. So I, I think it was a mistake from my side. Let's, let's run this. And then we have hello world while printing you can add it over here so this will be end l and uh, then you have anything else from amen okay let's save it clear of the terminal let's run it again so you have hello world from amen and that's how you do it okay so it's pretty easy pretty conceptual and it's going to be helpful for you in the long run as well i hope you understood i hope you had a lot of fun in learning this thing and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one where we're going to discuss C++ strings, concatenation and its uses. Till then, happy learning and peace.